Universe Universe, welcome to another episode of Robots with the Rockettes. This is Maddie. And I'm Bria. And today, we're going to show you how to wire and use a beam brake sensor. This sensor has two parts, a transmitter and a receiver, which has an invisible infrared beam between the two that can be broken. It's a digital sensor, so it reads 1 when the beam is not broken and 0 when an object is placed between the transmitter and the receiver. This one costs $2. We could 3D print a small case or use hot glue to mount it. We'll wire this one to use two digital points on your device interface module, or DIM. On the receiver, the red wire on the sensor connects to pin 2, the voltage, on the DIM. The black wire is the ground, and it connects to pin 3 on the DIM. The white wire is the signal, which connects to pin 1 on the DIM, but we also have to add a 10,000 ohm pull-up resistor between the signal and the voltage wire like we did with the Hall Effect sensor. For the transmitter, we will simply connect the red voltage wire to pin 2 and the black ground wire to pin 3. We've not tested more than one at a time, but the beam seems thin enough that you should be able to use multiple beam brakes on a robot without interfering with each other. In theory, they can take up to 22 milliamps of current for the receiver and 10 milliamps for the transmitter. Since the max current for the tire dim is 200 milliamps, you'll need to calculate how many total sensors you can use. We are going to show you how to wire this up so you can actually use one on your robot. We picked up some simple jumper wires to test out how to connect the sensor without a breadboard. Let's look at the receiver. First, we have to carefully strip all of our wires so that there is about a quarter inch of bare wire showing. We need a 10 kilo ohm resistor, which will wire between the voltage wire and the signal wire on the receiver side. We're going to twist these together and trim off the excess. We'll go ahead and add some heat shrink around the wires to hold them together, and we'll shrink this later. Next, we'll solder the red wire on the receiver and the red jumper cable and the resistor. Then we twist the white signal wires together with the other end of the resistor and solder them together. For the black ground wires, we'll just twist and solder them directly. We put heat shrink around each individual wire and isolate them from each other, and then a large piece of heat shrink around the entire thing for stability. All you have to do for the transmitter is solder and heat shrink the red voltage cable to a red jumper cable and the black ground wire to a black jumper cable. You can plug the receiver into one digital port on the DIM and the transmitter into a second digital port to supply power to it. We hope you find the beam brake sensor useful this season. That's, That's all for now. now. Bye, bot buddies. buddies.